Welcome to Electra Line, and our next video is still on crystal structures, and we're still dion do are doing ionic bonding. And so, what is keeping these crystals together is the ionic strength or the uh, electrical strength between the positive and negative charges of the ions. In this case, we're going to look at sodium chloride again. Sodium chloride is a nice example to use in a lot of cases. But here we have an alternate structure of chlorine ions and sodium ions. Of course, the sodium ions, since they're positive, they're smaller, there's less electrons, so the electrons are getting pulled closer to the nucleus. The chlorine ions, they have one extra electron, so there's more repulsive forces. They get pushed away a little bit further, a little bit more repulsive forces between the electrons and the chlorine ion. And so therefore, the sodium ions are smaller, the chlorine ions are bigger, so there's this crystal structure within them. And the unit cell, of course, goes from the center of the chlorine ions through the sodium ions down this way, around, and this way. Now, we're trying to determine how many chlorine ions and how many sodium ions are, are encompassed in the unit cell structure that we have before us here. The side is about 564 picometers. So it's a cube where each side has a, has a length of about 564 picometers. And we're now going to try to determine how many of each ion are within that unit structure. Notice that any, every unit structure will look exactly the same as you're putting them side by side, top to bottom, and so forth. So the best way to look at it is you take this unit cell structure, you look at it from the front, from the back, from the left side, from the right side, from the top, from the bottom, and then not forgetting, there's one ion in the very center of this cell structure. It's a sodium ion right there, so we have to account for that as well. So let's first figure out how many chlorine ions we have looking from each direction. So looking from the front, we have one in the face, so half of it's sticking out, half is inside the cube, so we have a half a chlorine ion here. We have four chlorine ions at the corners, and in this case only one eight of the chlorine ion sticks inside the cube. Remember, there'll be at this corner right here, that's a conjunction of eight cubes. This one, the one on the side, the one on the front here, the one on the front here, and then there's another layer on top, each only encompassing one eight of that chlorine ion. So we have one eight, one eight, one eight, and one eight right there in the, on the front side. We do exactly the same on the back side. Again, we can look at the unit structure from the back, the unit cell structure, and again, we have one in the face. That means half of it is sticking out, half of it is inside the cube. We have again one eight from each corner ion. Looking from the left, now we cannot look at the three on the left side and the three on the right side there because they're already taken into account by looking at the front and the back. So this right here is the same as this right here, so we can't count a double. But the three in the middle there are not accounted for yet. So here we have one in the face, and of course we don't have any chlorine ions top and bottom. Those are sodium ions, so we have to account for one there. And we do the same on the right side again. These Two sets here already accounted for by looking at the front and the back, so we can only look at the three in the middle. And there we have a half a, cl uh, a chlorine ion again. Now we look at the top. We cannot account for those or those, or these and these. So anything on the outside is already accounted for by looking at the front, the back, the left, and the right. So on the top view, you can only take into account the one in the middle that cannot be seen by looking anywhere on the side, the front, back, or the, the two sides. So that's half inside the cube and half outside the cube. And again, looking from the bottom, same thing. The one in the center here, that one has not been accounted for, so it's half of the bottom, half inside, half outside the cube. And there's nothing inside at the center of the cube. So if we add them all up, for the uh, chlorine ion, the number of chlorine ions is equal to, well, let's see here, we have one half plus four times an eight, so that's one half plus four times one eight, by looking at the front, plus a half, plus four times one eight, by looking at the back. On the left side, we have a half a chlorine ion. Looking at the right side, we have a half a chlorine ion. Looking at the top, we have a half, and looking at the bottom, we have a half. So, adding all that together, so that's a half plus a half, that's a whole, that's two, that's three, that's four, so there are four chlorine ions in a unit cell structure, a cubic unit cell structure uh, for sodium chloride crystals. Now let's do the same for the sodium. So on the sodium, see that we have, uh, looking at the front, we have one at this edge right here, but it's, 
it's sticking out. Let's see, what's the best way to look at it? So we have kind of a corner right here, and the sodium ion is sitting right at the corner. And that means that only a quarter of that sodium ion is inside the cube, and three quarters are outside the cube, because remember, you're going to have one, two, three, four cubic structures all put together, each containing one quarter of that sodium ion. So that is this one, this one, this one, and this one each have one quarter of the ions sticking inside the cube. So for the, for the sodium ions, number of sodium ions, we have four times a quarter looking at the front, and the back is exactly the same. So there will be four cubes, and this will be at the corner of those four cubes, so one quarter sticking inside, three quarters is then sticking in the other three cubes. So again, we have four times, and I should have a quarter there, not a half. So plus four times a quarter, looking at the back. Now looking at the left side, remember these are already accounted for by looking at the front and the back, but this one and this one is not. And so again, we have one quarter of the sodium ion in this cube. The three quarters are then shared with the other three cubes. Same at the one on the bottom here. So again, at that one, that time we have two times a quarter. Plus, looking at the right side of the cube, same thing. We have these two right here, each of them with one quarter of the sodium ion inside the cube. So two times one quarter. Looking at the top and the bottom, all 40 sodium ions already being accounted for by looking at the front, the back, the left, and the right. So nothing at the top, nothing at the bottom, but we can't forget the one in the center is a sodium ion, so we have to account for that, that one as well, plus one. And if we add all that up, we have one, two, that would be... Two and a half, three, plus one is four. We have four sodium ions. And that's a good sign that we have the same number for both sodium and chlorine ions because in the sodium chloride, we have one of each in the combination of sodium chloride. So we have to have an even, the same number, not an even number, but the same number in each uh, structure, in each unit cell structure that we have here. And that's how we're able to figure out how many of each ion are in a unit cell uh, sodium chloride is a good example for that, and so we do the same kind of thing for every uh, kind of crystal to figure out exactly how many are in, are in each. And that, of course, then allows us to find the density and the structure and so forth, the ionic distances between them, knowing what the, what the cell structure is like and what the size of the cell is like, the unit cell, we can then figure out the distance between the ions in there as well. So that's how we do that. Hopefully that helps. See you at the next video.